not a fiend. In in occupation. In occupation. Back back liberation. Back back liberation. In in occupation. In in occupation. Back back liberation. Back back liberation. Free free Palestine. Free free Palestine. Free free Gaza. Free free Gaza. Free free Palestine. Free free Uh, a, a lovely man here that has helped me from day one and from day one he's set me up with all the right people he's let me know everywhere I'm meant to be I bought a printout of what he like what his sort of motto is and it's no matter where you come from no matter what language you speak no matter what re your religious beliefs are we are all brothers and sisters in humanity therefore we should respect each other extend love and care and compassion to one another that is not what we are here for we can be angry but use that anger for positive change. When there are people on the sidelines that yell so stupid stuff at us as we walk by, ignore them. They're not part of our problem. Let's just keep moving. We'll get through to the people that need to listen. So thank you so much to Hussein again. Um, he's helped me so much throughout this and everyone please come have a look and make sure you live by this because this is exactly what it is. We are all brothers and sisters in humanity. Thank you Jesse for the Beautiful introduction. Yes, that's the message that I've been preaching for the last 12 years. Uh, if you want me to repeat, I'll repeat again. No matter where you come from, no matter what language you speak, no matter what your religious beliefs are, at the end of the day, we are all brothers and sisters in humanity. Therefore, we should respect each other, extend love and care, and finally, be compassionate to one another. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I just want to add a few words. Um, we have gathered here today. I see many of faces, our regular faces. No matter rain or shine, you guys come here. What it shows, what it says that you people have good heart. Really good heart. You feel the pain. You care about your brothers and sisters who are suffering miserably in Gaza. And uh, our brother Wadar has come back. As I mentioned two weeks ago, his father passed away and he left immediately Jordan. Now he's back. Welcome back, brother Wadar. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. I wanted that on the back of my speech, just so that you can hear what I'm saying with this in the background. It's hard to hear, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty hard to ignore, isn't it? Yeah. But I can pause it. No. I can pause that video. I made that video for like 30 seconds. People have been living in this for 75 years. How many days now? Nearly six months? They can't pause that video. Hell, I can't even play it on this damn thing. <laughs> no one's fault. But while I'm talking, please just think that video's playing. That sound. That sound that's really annoying. That sound that's meant to terrorize and everything, you know? Mm. By the way, that drone is unarmed, unmanned. That is only there just to terrorize and just to psychologically harm. That's how disgusting this is. Shame. shame! Yeah, shame! Shame! I'm pretty tired, so I'm sorry it's not going to be as powerful, but please uh, scream for me. Thank you. This speech is a <laughs> this speech uh, is about how Palestine is closer than we think it is. Refugees from the current genocide in Palestine are.